spoke to me about problems that were occurring in spite of the porpoising. Yeah. What were you focusing on today? Trying to make the car go faster, to be honest. It was um, a tricky day. We weren't as competitive as we would have liked. It's, um, again, tricky track to get the tyres in the right window. You see with a number of drivers, their fastest laps are coming right at the end of a run, whereas the Ferrari and Red Bull, they seem to be able to turn it on. But at the moment, they just have inherently uh, a faster car than us. And, uh, we're doing everything we can to try and catch up. So is it the tyres that are making life difficult for you? Well, I, I think so, but I think if we get totally on top of the tyres, we're not going to uh, fully close that gap. Well, we're definitely not going to fully close that gap, they're just too far ahead. Uh, so that's probably 50% of our issue, the rest is just um, the lack of performance we have at, at the moment. And the porpoising, how was that today? <clears throat> um, yeah, there was a little bit of it, but it was just, now the cars are running so close to the ground, it's... Um, it's crazy out there through those high-speed corners, the car's fully bottoming out. I think it's the same for everybody and um, it's really not comfortable to drive. So I don't know what the future holds uh, for this sort of era of cars, but I can't see us being able to, well, I don't think it's right to be able to run like this for the next four years or whatever we've got. So it's going to be, um, yeah, I guess for all of us, conversations are going to be needed as um, yeah, everybody is in the same boat, really.